How's it going guys? Mitch here, and today we're starting the reassembly on my subframe of my 2009 Pontiac G8 GT. Um, so I painted it, got all the rust off of it, um, you know, all that, and we're throwing all the control arms and everything like that back on today and hopefully get ready to get it put into the car. Alright, so I did already get the upper control arms put on the vehicle. Um, I did that before the video just because I wanted to show you guys one thing, one other product I got from BMR Suspension, which is this right here. See, this is the OEM one, um, which has a much, much larger bushing in it. Um, this is the whole reason I started all of this, is because I had issues with this. Um, so what was happening is when I changed my transmission fluid, I had my car up on jacks and I had the uh, put the car in gear to just get fluid running through the transmission um, and when I was hitting the brakes I was getting a lot of um, toe in from my rear wheels so every time I hit the brakes the torque was causing the wheels to um, point in which I did a lot of research and is due to this um, partially because the bushing is worn out but partially because it's so large and uh, allows for a lot of deflection so what BMR has done is they've made this product here which pretty much makes that bushing as small as it can be, um, and it's supposed to help with that immensely compared to uh, the OEM. So, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start getting the rest of it put together. All right, now that we got all the suspension components on, we're ready to go ahead and put in the uh, half shafts and the hubs, which I've got sitting right over here. Let's go ahead and get those thrown in. All right, we got the hubs on now. Um, from here, all you really got to do is you got to bolt up the uh, rear strut towers, which I unfortunately don't have time to do today. But after that, um, once you have everything torqued to spec, um, it's ready to go back into the car. Um, there's not really a whole lot to uh, show you on this or tell you what to do. There's just a whole lot of tightening bolts down, putting bolts through holes. You know, just a regular day, every day putting things in holes. Um, so I will update you guys once I get it put into the car and I'll show you putting on the exhaust and the drive shaft and everything like that. Uh, but for now, that's all we got. See you guys in the next video. All right, so I was just going through editing this video and realized I didn't make crap for an ending and there wasn't a lot of content in this video. I did not end up recording the exhaust just because I was in a bit of a time crunch and I had to get it done, put together so I could uh, get the car on the road. I'm going to go over a few things that I w did on the car um, that I didn't end up recording. Uh, let me just take you through some of the things that happened in the past month. Uh, this is about a month after recording the video, so if I look different, the car looked different. You know, that's, that's the reason. Um, so let me go through a few things that we did. All right, so uh, the exhaust on my car right now has um, solo performance axle backs and then pace setter headers on it. I do still have the stock muffler in the car, but I went ahead and cut out the uh, stock resonator that comes right off the muffler. I cut it straight from the weld on the muffler. Um, the reason for this is because this actually pinches down to about one and a quarter in pipe diameter here. Um, I wasn't comfortable with that choke point, so I went ahead and cut this section out on both sides of the exhaust and just put in a two and a half, two and a half inch pipe going straight through. Um, and then to make this fit, I took off the stock tunnel brace and put in a BMR um, tunnel brace, which I would show you, but unfortunately I hit something... Um, at a gas station end up putting a big dent in it so I am gonna have to replace that unfortunately um, it is a very nice piece which is why I don't want to dent it up one underneath my car um, so let me go and show you some other things that ended up happening during this and in my opinion the way I edited the exhaust sounds very good um, edited it's not like it's a video the way I uh, Modified the exhaust sounds very good, so I just wanted to give you guys a little cold start up real quick. It's very loud, very loud. Um, but I am happy with the way it sounds. Um, you know, just the the way I have the exhaust set up with the headers and the uh, solo performance axle backs and the stock mid mufflers in there. Um, it was quite a bit quieter before I cut out the resonators. Um, you can see the lays in there from going to Florida. I don't know if I've mentioned that. If I haven't, you'll see it real soon. Um, 
but everything's pretty good. I got the uh, Pace Performance headers there wrapped in heat wrap um, just to keep the engine bay pretty cool. Um, other than that, there's not much else I have done with that. So the reason for not making a video on putting all this back together is because I was under a bit of a time crunch. Uh, my friend was flying out from Washington, and I did have plans to drive in the car to Florida because we were just going to take a trip, have fun. We haven't seen each other for a while. Um, and we did end up doing that. Um, the car drove fine on the way to Florida. We had a good time down there. But on the way back, the car had some uh, running issues. And in the middle of Georgia, I found out why. Um, so as I was driving, I heard a noise. The car started running rough, so I pulled off to a gas station. And I listened to the car, listened to what was going on, and ended up taking the valve covers off the car. And I found this nice little uh, spring right here um, wasn't in the best shape. So in the middle of Georgia, Dublin, Georgia, I ended up actually having to take that spring out of the car and replacing it with another stock one. Um, as you can see here, the spring split into three different pieces and the uh, valve seal actually sheared itself. That's supposed to be one piece, um, but it broke and cut itself to bits. Um, I don't know how long I was driving on it like that. I tried to not drive on it as much as I could. Um, and then when I got back from Florida, I took all of the OEM springs out and replaced them with the Brian Tooley Racing Dual Valve Springs. This is just all the old springs in here because I did already replace them. Um, here is a picture of the new springs in the car. And uh, I was going to make a video on that, but again, I was in a bit of a time crunch because my friend was about to leave and it was a two-person job to use the uh, spring compressor. I only had a day to get it done, so I just went and did it. Um, so that's pretty much what's been going on with the car, where I've been the last month, why these videos haven't been uploaded yet. Um, and one other word to the wise is if you ever see this spring compressor, I got it from an advanced auto, I believe, don't ever buy it. It's not worth the money. Um, it took me about six hours using this tool to get one valve spring in, and that's because it just wouldn't hold on to the spring. I don't know if it's just because of the springs I was using, but don't use this tool. I ended up having to tie rope around these uh, little arms here to actually keep them on the springs. So I was stuck in the middle of Georgia for about six hours. Um, I had to take an Uber around to different auto parts stores and to a GM dealership to actually pick up the spring and all the parts I needed. Um, um, fortunately, I did get it back together. It's all good, baby! Um, it did add an extra day on my road trip. Um, just getting back to Missouri. But other than that, it was pretty smooth. Nothing major um, happened. I mean, you know, other than shattering a valve spring in the middle of Dublin, Georgia. Dublin, Georgia. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else was uh, pretty good. Good trip. Um, the suspension was great. Very solid. Um, I was getting a lot more grip um, in corners than I was previously. It felt way more planted and solid. Yes, the road was a bit more bumpy, but, you know, that's to be expected with hardening up the bushings and everything in there. Um, overall, I am very happy with the uh, um, bushings from BMR. I'm very happy with how the car drives and performs now. And I will update you guys on anything else I do to the car. Thank you so much for watching, like I said earlier in the video, but didn't actually end it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.